the Walk with a Doc event right here in West Bloomfield. Dr. Caroline Beal has opened a chapter of Walk with a Doc right here, and this is going to be the second monthly event taking place at Drake Sports Park on Saturday, September 14th at 9 a.m. The event is a free opportunity to network with other community members, physicians, and local team rehab physical therapists. And here to tell us more about this event is the woman herself, lead physician with Serenity Osteopathic Medicine and the coordinator with Walk with a Doc, Dr. Caroline Beal. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Happy to have you back with us. We had you on the show previously to talk about the first event that took place in August. And what was the feedback you received from some of the participants at that event? Yeah, they really liked it. Um, it was a beautiful day. It was a little bit cooler, really cool actually for August. Um, and we just all um, got together and walked around. It's a three quarter mile loop and it's paved the whole way. Um, and it was just great. Um, we had some that were very leisurely walking. We had some that were kind of out for a power walk. Um, lots of kids and the kids really seem to love it. They, there's the playground and there, there are these special Spots where they can um, stop off and uh, play on the bars and do pull-ups and do sit-ups and it was just a great event. Absolutely. Sounds like it was a lot of fun and I want to ask you what inspired you to bring Walk to a Dock to West Bloomfield or I'm sorry Walk with a Dock to West Bloomfield and what do you hope to achieve through these monthly walks? Really, my goal is just to get the community moving. Um, I'm a sports medicine physician, and absolutely. And walking, honestly, is the easiest and one of the best things that we can do for our health. Um, keeping physically active reduces so many of the um, medical problems that we can have um, throughout our lifetime. And it's just, it's a great way to get some exercise in, socialize, um, and um, just enjoy the fresh air. That's right. And with the weather going to be changing very, very soon, soon we're going to be having this little thing called snow all over the place. And it's going to be a bit harder to have these events. So it's great that we're having them now. And going back to the event in August, do you have any standout moments or lessons from the first event that helped to shape your plans for this upcoming walk? Um, wind. <laughs> I did not plan for wind. <laughs> and so definitely need to uh, re-coordinate how I have things set up so things aren't blowing all over the place. Um, but other than that, I thought it went really well. Um, I do want to mention this is year long. And so even even in the winter, we're going to we're going to keep going as long as the conditions aren't dangerous. So if there's ice um, or things aren't plowed or, of course, inclement weather, we do have an alternate location. The Farmington Family Y has been um, generous enough to open their indoor track for us when we have inclement weather. That's great. That's great that you're able to have these events all throughout the year and that you keep them safe or even if there's ice on the ground, make sure nobody breaks a bone or anything while they're taking their walk. Dr. Caroline Beal with uh, Serenity Osteopathic Medicine joins us today on The Splash to talk about the Walk with the Doc event taking place this Saturday, September 14th. Now, you usually go into some health topics while you're on this walk. And I want to know what types of topics do you usually cover before the walk and how do you decide which topics are most relative for the group? Well, last time was during the Olympics. And so I had a little bit of an Olympic themed talk. We talked about training, um, all the things that you can do for training. And, and that could be training for couch to 5K. It could be training for your very first walk and it could be training for a marathon. It's all the same. Um, so that was last month's talk. I'm gonna keep this month a surprise, um, but it really can vary from hydration. So in the hot months, um, we talk a little bit more about hydration. Um, I, with my sports medicine background. I, of course, love to talk about nutrition and fueling and uh, movement and, um, you know, um, people that end up with injuries. I, I talk about injuries as well. So um, injury prevention is another big one. So yeah, really no topic is, um, is off limits. And um, I'm just excited to be able to share this information with everyone. 
Absolutely, and it's great to have these kinds of events to help keep the community informed. And I want to know, how do you tailor the event to accommodate participants of different fitness levels? And what kind of feedback have you received about the guided stretches and the walk itself? So um, it is absolutely go at your own pace. Um, and since it's a loop, it's very easy for me to kind of move around from, you know, group of people to group of people um, and just make sure everyone is doing okay and, and have conversations with them, um, answer any questions they might have. And it is completely paved. So um, it's a very um, nice, smooth, it's almost like a track, but it's a sidewalk and it's through the trees in the park. Um, so that's how we're um, able to accommodate kind of all fitness levels. And there are multiple benches along the way so people can um, take a rest as well. Um, what was the second question? Oh, it was just gonna talk about what kind of feedback you've received for the walk itself. Yeah, I, I think the biggest feedback has just been, it's fun. Um, which honestly, maybe that's the biggest um, goal of all of it is fun, socialization, and of course, exercise and having those, um, those conversations around health. Absolutely. So glad to have you with us today, Doctor. Uh, we are running short on time. I do just have one more quick question. As you continue to lead these walks, what are some of your long-term goals with Walk with a Doc in West Bloomfield? I would love to get more of the community, small businesses and um, other businesses that are surrounding health and wellness involved. Um, I've been reaching out to some and I'm hoping that at future events, um, they can be present as well and help us with any talks or stretches and warm ups and um, all of that. So I'm, I'm hoping to build a little bit more of a community event. Absolutely. That's what these events are for, helping to improve the community and build it with every single step. Dr. Caroline, thank you so much for joining us today on The Splash. Thank you.